Sean Sport in podcast form. Just kicking off with Australia at the Asia Cup at the moment. We topped our group in our, the group stage, so we're now through to the knockout stage. Didn't lose the game, but we drew last night with Uzbekistan. One all. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. Nathan, what sport are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Hi there, do it again. So say some of the words. Socceroos. Oh, well, that's soccer. Mm. You hadn't said that. You hadn't said that. No, no. You didn't say no, soccer. You, I just wanted no, to I thought I left that out. Didn't I? <laughs> You're really good at giving clues to things, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no good on the other yeah, end, yeah, 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 as we yeah, know. know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to teach you about games one day. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clue. boring affair, to be honest, if you watch it on Channel uh, 10, Bold. Yeah, I watched a little bit of it and went, this is just a dour struggle. And it's only because, once again, I mentioned this um, last time talking about soccer, is we don't have the ability to score. We just don't have world-class strikers, yeah, really. That, and the one that we got... Do, do, Dodgy penalty. We didn't deserve that. Yeah, we didn't deserve that. We didn't Can I say that. something take controversial? I'm yes, completely sir. disinterested in the Socceroos, um, but it's I all will Matildas watch all the way. Matildas like they're going out of fashion, and I don't care about any of the men's players, and I am can heavily you name invested. One? No. I don't know that I can And either. I am heavily invested in the female team. They're the story at the moment. Isn't that brilliant? It is brilliant, absolutely. But it's a, it's a it's a moment in time. So if you know Australia were to play, no, no, it is. Uh, maybe not. we don't know. Well, well everything's well, a moment in time. Well, that is now a moment in time. No, no. If the, oh, if the World Cup was if the <laughs> World one. Cup was here, yeah. if the World yeah. Cup was here, yeah. then the men, the men's tournament, then you know you'd name yeah. every bloody player because it's just in your face so much. But the girls are fantastic, mm. and as I said, our Australian team does not have the quality of strikers to be able to score like the women's yeah. team. So we need does, the, so. we need the Mary Fowlers, we need the Sam Kerr. Yeah. yeah. And we used yeah. to have them, as said, Harry Kuhl. You know, yeah. he was a generational yeah. player. Well, we just see, don't I have know them anymore. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, give me some. Give me a name from um, current, the current teams. A uh, Jackson Irvine. He scored. Mm-hmm. That's not a thing. Martin, Legit, B- never heard Martin of him. Boyle scored last night. It's got oh, a hard, heard of him. hardcore that, Scottish that's accent. A, that's a made-up oh, name. Also, great Aussie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right. Uh, the ICC <laughs> named their cricket team of the year. That is the World Cricket Team of the Year. Pat Cummins was named as the skipper. There was five Aussie I mean, guys who got had to. into that. You had to put him in there. You yeah, have to. He, he, that team is still... They've won everything. I, yes, but I think there's still this aura that everyone goes, mm, how do I feel about that team? Even though they're the best we've almost they ever seen. They won the seen. World Test Championship. They won the World One Day Championship. They um, retained the Ashes. Mm-hmm. They've won every Test Series they've played in. Really, okay, so, we're, we're, so, so I'm saying that. Do they they have to be ranked as probably the best team we've ever had? So, but the thing they're is, though, they're, they're performed, okay? So you're saying yes. the performance is there. So what is the stigma attached to them? Where is it coming from? Is it coming from... Because there's so many bloody stories about Pat Cummins being woke and now about Australia Day. Or is it the David people Warner are saying, thing? shut up, mate, you just play cricket. It's like, well, no, he played cricket, he's a human too, and he can have an opinion. Yeah. Is it the David Warner thing Is it the well? Warner thing? It's the combination. Yeah. that We never used to have this about this yeah. team. There wasn't the distractions. Um, I mean, you could have a conversation about the Australian cricket team, you know, many years ago, and it was always who's getting drunk, how many cans of David Boone. Oh, Glenn Maxwell. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> David Boone drink on the flight to England, all yeah. that kind of stuff. And this, and this team is just different in that way. Uh, obviously, Bancroft not getting time. a game, yeah. um, playing for Australia, then there's... The, the thing of, is it a boys' club? You've got to be from New South Wales yeah. to play for Australia these days. Uh, yeah, it's it's a really different feel to this team, even though they should be recognised as one of the greatest teams we've ever had. Can't win in India, though. Can't win in... No one does. No one does. <laughs> okay. And well, finally, in, you did mention, by the way, Glenn Maxwell. It's always good to go Maxie. back to the Glenn Maxwell story, which we talked about yesterday. So his manager confirmed that yeah. he played in the golf day. Mm. He was severely hydrated after a week of celebration. Dehydrated. Then he got Big severely difference. hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a few jars. He's passed out. So someone decided they need to call an ambulance because... He was yeah, in all sorts. He was in all sorts. And he's really embarrassed Very about embarrassed. it. Because that is terrible. And this is what we were talking about with Gen Z and their anxiety, Sean. This is when yeah, you go yes. out now and then the world knows about it. <laughs> this is this is what Glenn mm. Maxwell is experiencing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Will it change? No. We are missing Perth Wildcat Jordan Usher this morning. He's doing the right thing and looking after his partner, who's not feeling too well and today. Sean's mystified. <laughs> Well, yeah, there we go. He had 24 points on the weekend against the Sydney Kings. And coming off the bench two nights before when the Wildcats were able to knock over Brisbane, he was once again very energetic 
And he looks like a teammate who you want to play with. Yeah. That's mm. going to try. He's yep. up and as about. basic as that yep. sounds. He looks like a teammate that takes the morning off when he has a radio commitment to look after his girlfriend <laughs> who was sick. And that's the teammate you want. It is. And is also that... the boyfriend you want. You do. <laughs> yes. You do. Making us all look bad. So the Wildcats are on a tear at the moment. They're yeah. playing particularly well. Everybody's chipping in. Yes. That's the thing about this team. And at their, the their ball movement's really good. It's really stepped up. A lot of passing, you know, tricky little passing and stuff like that. It's really nice to see. And Bryce is obviously having an MVP season. So they're saying that he should just take the title now. He's Absolutely. been that good. Just hand it to yeah. him. And and that's with, you know, two players on him at all times. But wait, yeah, haven't still... we been in a situation where Bryce yes. is supposed to have gotten the yes, MVP? We have. And um, they gave it to someone else, yeah. yeah, Yeah, I think this year, Nate, it's really undeniable. I know he's won a I few know. already, but it's... But watch. It's undeniable. Yeah, so he's averaging just over 24 points. He's playing 37 Point two minutes Which a game, out so of 40. he's yeah. he's barely coming amazing, off for a that? short yeah. stint, and he's carrying that team. Well, it's easy to say he's carrying that team, but without the some of the other parts, then it's not happening. That's regardless, right. Yeah. that's right. So they're doing particularly they well. Are. Staying right. with the basketball, because sorry, the Wildcats oh. are one game behind. Mm. Yes, Melbourne, Melbourne. United. Mm. Six games to go. They do not play Melbourne United this weekend. They've got a double, which is Illawarra t- uh, tomorrow night, and then they play South East Melbourne Magic, who are away, who haven't won a game in a little while. So hopefully we can get a couple more victories, and then that second spot as a minimum is locked in, and at least you're getting a home finals regardless. Nice. So that'll be a positive. Going to the NBA, and yesterday <laughs> Joel Embiid scored 70 points for F- the Philadelphia 76ers. He should have got, got 76, really. Is this a, a record? record? Yeah, it is. It is a record. And who did he beat? Uh, well, so this is the ninth time in NBA history someone scored not, uh, 70 points or more. Okay. Will Chamberlain scored 100 points back in the black and white yeah. days. Okay. It's a record Kobe for Bryant the 76ers, yeah. Nailed 81 in a game. Um, I mean, that's ridiculous. Like, we're amazed when when Bryce Cotton gets yeah, 40. Yeah. Was to anyone get... on the other team going, defence? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, I don't I think so. The San Antonio Spurs who were stinking it up down the bottom. But um, the thing about Still. Joel's game, I just mentioned Bryce Cotton playing 37 point whatever minutes. He's averaging, yeah. getting 24 points. Mm. He, so Joel scored 70 points and played 36 minutes. Amazing. 36 minutes. Wow. Why would you Just, take him off? He's seven <laughs> foot. I think he's seven foot two. I mean. He's, so that's um, so two isn't. points per minute. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's the math. Yep. Hold yeah. on. Just under. Yeah. So Joel Embiid's yeah. contract is a four years for 213 million. It comes to about 53 or $57 million a season. I tell you what, if he keeps doing that, he's worth it, isn't he? But That's some amazing. Of these, some of these basketballers you hear they've made making this money and then they've got yeah, nothing. nothing. to show for it. They've got nothing years later and they're like trying to hold mate, on to their last the house. Hey, the, don't worry about the answer, mate. He's coming back. You know why? Because they have that, um, uh, I would say hedge fund, but they have that retirement fund where they're going to have to pay him out like $100 million. Mm. The answer. Because everyone's still buying... AI oh, number three jerseys. Yeah. M- m- the merch. Yeah. He got paid Everyone. 140, 140 during his career. And, uh, well, when we looked up his net worth, it was a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, no, but no, but but that's with, yes, yes. He goes to Sean's account for. He goes to Sean's bookmaker by the sounds of it. Oh, NBA, big money, the NBL, go the Wildcats tomorrow night, Illawarra. Sean's Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.